right guys, welcome back. We are here at the grand opening of the Food and Wine Festival. First We're day. Be showing you some of the menus and some of the food as we go around the country. Yes, we probably won't do much talking. We're gonna we're here with a couple of friends, so we will show you guys the menus and some of the food like Scott right. said. And we'll we'll be back, we'll be doing it. Yeah. And we'll be talking more I'm about, sure. Yeah, we'll be so. talking a lot more next time. But we hope you enjoy and we hope you find this video helpful. Yes, so enjoy Let's Epcot. Go. We are Okay, so there's still construction going on here as they prepare for the new entrance here at Epcot. And here we are at the Food and Wine Festival. And we're going to show you guys around. And the standby for Spaceship Earth is 10 minutes. It is around 12.30 and 10 minute wait. Islands of the Caribbean. So this is a quesito. Those are good. And this is a ropa vieja empanada. Oh, thank you. From Islands of the Caribbean. It's good. All right, so the, em the ropa vieja empanada. It's super, super spicy to my mouth. John, you like it? It's good. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Good. I would. It's good. Too spicy. If it's you're good, sensitive to spice, do not get that. Shimmering sips. <laughs> The filet mignon from the Canadian Pavilion. in uh, Morocco.
right, let's go on living with the land. Welcome to a voyage of discovery and awareness of the richness, the diversity, and the often surprising nature of living with the land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. Those are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, welcome to our living laboratories, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests. Some like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular fruit in the world. Uses nearly 5,000 pounds of fish each year to serve in restaurants around Walt Disney World. Innovations like this one can play an important role in our efforts to produce bountiful harvests and still protect natural resources. The common grains growing here wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year. Some of our best ideas have been inspired by nature like these fruit and vegetable trees. By growing these ground plants vertically, we can increase yields and better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year.
future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. Look at all this new merchandise for the Food and Wine Festival. Show it off, Julia. It's thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. It's so. But what is it? We have no idea. Okay. I think it's filled with coffee. Oh, but it's really cute. Well, look at that. And how much is that? That is nineteen ninety nine. Thank you, Julia. <laughs> oh, are you going to the next thing? What's that say? Perfect what? Twenty six ninety nine. A perfect. Pairing. Oh, perfect pairing. Did they have strawberry? No. Oh, look at that pie dish. $24.99. Oh. I wish they sold that big cupcake. Oh, those are so cute. Oh my gosh. $19.99. And they have different colors. Like every every uh, measurement wow the ceramic yes wow i like that oh and the ears 29.99 that's pretty expensive 